Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to stream your PlayStation to your Steam Deck. Now this footage is actually me playing Astro's Playroom, which is a PS exclusive on my Steam Deck, and to prove it to you, here is the Steam Deck overlay. A few points before we start, we're going to be using a program called Chiaki for this, which will connect to your PlayStation via a remote play feature, so you need to make sure that your PlayStation and Steam Deck are on the same network, and for as smooth a connection as possible, I'd recommend plugging your PlayStation in via Ethernet cable if possible. So let's get started. This is easiest with a mouse and keyboard connected to your Steam Deck if you have one, but it is very doable just using the Steam Deck controls. So firstly we want to go into desktop mode. And once we're in desktop mode you need to go into the Discover Software Center and search for Chiaki. Just in case you didn't know you can press the Steam key and X to bring up a keyboard. Okay, so now we want this program with the green icon. It's called Chiaki NG, which stands for Next Generation. Chiaki is open source and it has been through a few different iterations, but this is the one that's available now, so set that installing. Okay, once that's installed, close the software center, and to find it, we can open the main desktop menu. And for me, it always appears under the games section. And if you can't find it under that section, you can just do a search for Chiaki again, and it should show up. Now, once we're in, you'll see that straight away it's found my PS5. If it doesn't find yours, just make sure, like I said, both devices are on the same network. Sometimes having one on the five gigahertz and one on the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection can throw things off. Try and get them on the same one. And if you're still having trouble, try restarting both devices. I'm just clicking through the settings now to show you, but I didn't have any reason to change any of these, so don't worry about them too much. So go back to the main screen and click on your console. And at this point, it's gonna ask you for two things. The first is your PSN account ID. And this is a series of numbers and letters that are unique to your ID. Luckily, the app helps you find this by clicking on the public lookup. Just make sure that on your PlayStation, the privacy settings, you're allowing your profile to be found in search by anyone. This will let it get your ID. Type your ID into the box and it will automatically fill in the code for you. Next up is the remote play pin, and you can find this on your PlayStation. Go into the settings, then into console, and down to remote play. First of all, make sure that remote play is enabled, and then go down to the option called pair device. This will give you the code that you can enter into Chiaki. At that point, click register, and you should see this window pop up. That means it's all gone through okay. Close this and you'll see now that on the main screen, the PlayStation will now say registered where before it said unregistered and that means it's all ready to go. We're still in desktop mode, but we're gonna test this out very quickly. So click on your console and it should take you straight into the view that you were just looking at on your PlayStation. So great, it all works, but there's a couple more steps just to get this working in game mode rather than desktop mode. So close out of the stream by pressing the X in the top corner. It'll ask you if you want to put your PlayStation into sleep mode, which I usually do, and then click Create Steam Shortcut at the top. Give it whatever name you like, I just left it as the default, and it will then say that Steam needs to restart in order for this to take effect, which is absolutely fine. Close out of Chiaki, come back to your desktop, close Steam down, and then go back into game mode. So once we're back into game mode on our Steam Decks, we need to go into our library and then go across to the non-Steam section. And you should now see a new option for Chiaki in there and even provides some artwork, which is nice. One last thing I recommend is that if you go into the control options, bind one of the back paddle buttons to the escape key. And this is because when you're controlling your PlayStation, the escape key is used for the PS button and you want to have that accessible. So with that done, launch Chiaki, and you'll see it looks the same as it did before. And now that we're in game mode, you can just press A to select your console and it'll start the streaming process. If you've got a security pin on your console, it may ask you for that, and then we're back in controlling our PlayStation.
So a few final things. Firstly, the Steam Deck touchscreen acts as the touchpad for the PlayStation controller. So you can see here, I'm swiping on the screen to get Astro to jump out of the controller, which normally you'd swipe on the controller's pad for. And secondly, if you want to end the stream, just go into the PS menu and put the console to sleep, which is why I think it's really important that you bind a back button to the escape key to open the PlayStation menu. Once you put the console to sleep, it brings you back out into the Chiaki app, and then you can close the Chiaki app by pressing B. And that's it, folks. That's how to stream your PlayStation to your Steam Deck. I know that these days a lot of PlayStation exclusives are moving over to Steam, but not all of them are here yet. And if you've got a good internet connection, then you can get some nice smooth gameplay out of this. I have occasionally got a bit of lag or dropouts, but it's not very often. Although one thing to bear in mind is that this is still a 1200 by 800 screen, so it's not gonna look quite as nice as, for example, maybe the Portal, which is 1080p, but doing this, your Steam Deck will get great battery life and it is an option for those who don't want to buy another device. It's also a good option if you own some games on PlayStation, you want to play them handheld, maybe somebody else is using the TV, you don't want to have to rebuy them on Steam. So that's what I'm doing here with Space Marine 2. So I really hope you found this video useful. If there are any other Steam Deck tutorials that you'd like to see, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.